In this video, we'll look at how to use Wingate's flowchart policy to limit time online for your users. We were contacted by a customer who needed to limit their users to one hour of internet time per day using Wingate. This video will look at a way to do this using policy in Wingate. This policy uses the Run SQL Statement policy item, which is only available to an enterprise license. For more information on this policy item, see our online help file. Wingate 8 installs an SQLite database, so I have taken advantage of that and created a new database in SQLite called Wingate Policy, and you can see that in my SQL editor. In my database I've got one table called Time Online, and as you can see it's very simple with a username, start time, and expiry time. In the ODBC connector, I've added a system DSN for my new database. To create this policy for yourself, go to Control Panel Policy, and add a new policy for an HTTP proxy request event. This will capture both HTTP and HTTPS traffic. I created the policy earlier and we'll have a look at this now. So this policy is called for the proxy request event. The first element is an authentication check so that we can capture the username. If the user is not already authenticated then they will be prompted to do so now. The first SQL statement runs a query that will delete any records older than today and older than one hour. This is so that a user who began browsing after 11pm is not accidentally reset. The next SQL statement checks if there is an existing record for the user by extracting the account name from the session. Wingate makes many session parameters available to the policy system. And I've chosen user account name from my list of symbols. If there is no existing record, then we create one, setting the account name, start time, and expiry time, and then allowing the request. If there is an existing record, then we check to make sure that the expiry time has not been reached. If it's OK, then the request is allowed, otherwise it is rejected with a message back to the user that they have used more than their allotted time. Well, let's have a look at what happens now when I browse to Wingate.com. I can see that a record has been created in the database for my user and the expiry time is one hour from now. Looking at the policy, I can see the path through the policy that my request took. The initial request resulted in creation of a record and subsequent requests checked for the presence of an existing record and I was allowed to browse. If I now change the expiry time, my request will be rejected with the message that was entered in the reject policy element. If I change my start time to yesterday, then my record will be deleted, a new one will be created, and I'll be allowed to browse again for another hour. So that's just one of the many cool things you can do with Wingate Policy. If you'd like to try this policy for yourself, you can download it by clicking the link in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.